What up, what up, what up, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen and pets of all ages? This is your boy Jess. Welcome back to another NBA 2K14 online ranked match. And today, we have the Clippers going up against the Golden State Warriors. Now, uh, my first time playing a ranked match in a long, long, long while. Actually, I played two games before this one. Um, but my opponents quit. One was in the first quarter. Second one was in the second quarter. So really didn't, uh, you know, get to, uh, save any of that gameplay. So, uh, we got this game right here. Uh, tough opponent. I've gone up against the Warriors before, and I just know that, um, you got to expect, uh, a whole bunch of threes right there. We changed the camera angle. Bounce pass to my main man, DeAndre, for the gym. Now, CP3 is a boss. In this game. So obviously I want to get him going. You know. And of course you guys know. How I like to do. I like to drive. And dish. So he's definitely. You know. Point guard. Who. Uh, you know. Uh, I like his play style. You know what I mean. Uh, I'm not really looking forward. To uh, scoring a lot with Chris Paul. I'm just looking to. You know. Uh, find my teammates. And be able to get them involved. So. Uh, right here. Since I learned some dribble moves. From playing 2K. Uh, my career. You know. Kind of use that to my advantage. Right here. Quick little. And I see you baby. Splash. Wide open on the wing. And uh, changed my starting lineup, tweaked it a little bit. I believe we got uh, Green and we have um, Danny Green. I mean Danny Green. Danny Granger. And so we got Granger and Green, you know, some uh, some deep ball threats. As well as, you know, um, Blake Griffin, Jordan, and uh, CP3. So uh, definitely a good starting lineup. Right there, I, I thought maybe he was trying uh, some type of shooting glitch. I don't, I, I don't know. Like, he continuously shot with somebody directly in his face like... Uh, Stephen Curry can just go on ahead and, and make that shot continuously. I'm thinking to myself, why is he shooting with somebody directly in his face? Like, um, it, does he make that a lot? I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't played ranked in a while. I do know I've gone up against the Warriors a few times, and I do know I've lost. But um, I don't, I don't know if uh, if that's his game plan to just shoot contested, blatant contested shots. You know, like that. Uh, if, if he starts making them, it's going to be a problem. You know what I mean? Hopefully he doesn't, though, because, uh, yeah, there's nothing more frustrating than, you know, just watching somebody make just clear, uh, you know, defended shots. And if anybody can do it, it's uh, Stephen Curry. So hopefully um, that doesn't happen. So uh, nice assist right there from um, CP3 to DeAndre. And as expected, this guy is shooting a ton of threes. I mean, I mean what else am I to uh, expect? Going up against, uh, you know, the Warriors when you got, you got uh, Thompson, you got uh, Curry, and then off the bench, you know, he's got uh, Blake, and uh, he's just chucking up way too many shots, and uh, that could be a good thing or a, a, a bad thing, you know what I mean? Uh, it obviously could be a bad thing, because if you start missing a lot of shots, and, you know, me, my game plan is to, I mean, obviously, I'm going to take threes if they're open, but for the most part, I want to be able to get inside, give the ball to my bigs, and hopefully be able to get easy baskets so um if he continuously keeps missing and i keep making these easy close baskets and i could pull away it also could be a bad thing because if they start falling it's a very very difficult and frustrating thing you know i, I don't want to play his game i don't want to you know turn this into a three-point shooting contest because he'll win <laughs> you know he has better um you know three-point shooters than i do so uh hopefully we can just get, look at it. he's just chucking up threes and um you know, if they keep falling like that, man, we, we could be in trouble. Right here, down 10, tries to do a post-up right here. Um, one of the few times he tried to, uh, you know, work on the inside, didn't work out for him right there. We go to CP3 and then uh, try to pass it to the inside, which we do successfully to Blake Griffin, and we end up getting the easy layup. So uh, just a, a lot of points came off transition, you know, so um, just like how the Clippers would in real life. Right there, stop and pop for a three. And, yeah, there there goes the, the, the Stephen Curry BS right there. You see, he's 4 for 11. I'm 1 for 2. He's just chucking up a lot, a lot of threes. Um, for the most part, he missed a majority of them. So, we've been able to capitalize on those continuous misses. So, uh, right here, nice little pick and roll right here action. Trying to just find somebody open, you know, trying to work on the inside and see what I can find. Got somebody in the air. We pass it. Nice ball movement right there. And we end up finding Dudley open. On the elbow right there for a three, which we end up making right here at this point, man. We are up 28 to 20, and um, you might hear a uh, loud ass like buck that my baby's listening to in the background. You may, you may not, but look at this right here. Whoop! Oh, got him going, got him leaning with the jab step. Don't do him like that, CP. 
Don't do him like that. So uh, right here, he ends up missing the free throw. And uh, of course, man, fast break opportunity. We want to be able to push you if we get inside. One thing that does suck about Chris Paul, man, is that he's so little. And um, he's very quick. I mean, yo, Granger, like, didn't miss a three in the three games that I played, man. Like, the first two games, he was knocking them down. That's why this game, I had to start him. Because the first two games that I played where the guys quit, um, he was just wet, yo. He was just knocking them down, no problem. And um, I definitely had to start him. One thing that I was saying about CP3 as uh, maybe Iguodala ends up making that, uh, is that he's so small, man. Like, every time I go to the lane, I just got blocked. Like, uh, it was very, very frustrating to, to see that. You know, because he's so quick. I would just run by, you know, Curry or whoever was trying to defend me. And um, what would happen is that I would just get blocked, like, all the time. Like, all my points. Look at Granger again from the corner. Like I said, man, he was just making almost, like, every shot, man. The dude was just on fire. Um, right there. That, that, that's an illegal infraction, Blake. You don't want to be running over people, Blake. So... Um, like I was saying, besides that, man, CP3 is just a, a, a stud, man. Just so quick, and his passing is on point, man, right here, trying to work. Uh, you know, just trying to kill clock and trying to take a final uh, second shot, but we end up getting fouled on our way to uh, the basket right there, and we end up getting a couple of free throws. One thing I do is I would let you tap on that left trigger, right trigger for like 10 seconds. I don't care. I would stand there right here. Like, I, I go through the motion right here. Like, right here, he's starting to shake. Nope. Go on ahead and tire your fingers out. Go on ahead. Go ahead. Take your time, because I'm taking mine. I'm going to let you, you know, I'm going to let you tie your fingers out, baby. I'm going to let you tie them fingers out. It's a strategy of mine, man. I'm trying to get those fingers of yours tired. Right here, I'm not giving up a last second shot, so I switch off of, uh, I let CP3 do a little bit of a uh, uh, computer defense for me, because I know uh, he probably would have stopped and popped in my face, and I wouldn't have reacted, and he probably would have made it. So, uh, 43 uh, point quarter, um, second quarter to uh 28 so right now we had a uh a hefty lead of 15 and uh what i wanted to do the third quarter is you know i put my uh my bench in to start and they played majority of the third quarter you know i definitely wanted to keep my starters fresh so because i had such a sizable lead it's like you know let me put in my bench and let me uh play with them for as long as i can i'll keep them in all the way into the fourth quarter you know with a minute remaining if i could you know what i mean as long as he doesn't uh, make a run. I'll stay with these guys right here. Keep my starters fresh. As you see, Curry, I had a tough time defending him. Uh, I definitely have trouble doing on-ball defense, uh, especially when their best. I always play with the point guard. Always, always, always. So, um, considering his best offensive player is the point guard, he's going to be controlling. Whoop! Caught him with a nice little inside, uh, nice little move. And uh, we end up passing to the new side for an assist. And, uh, yeah, considering his best player is the point guard. I knew I had to be defending him most likely majority of the game, so uh, I knew I was going to have some problems. Uh, as usual, you know, playing with, with the team I'm unfamiliar with. I don't know none of these guys' free throws releases, so I usually miss, you know, first couple free throws just because uh, I don't know their release, so it's going to take me some time. Right here, of, you know, as he's been doing all game, he's chucking up threes, and now they're starting to fall a little bit for him. Uh, 30, 39 points from him. We got 50 uh, Jordan right there with another jump shot right there. Puts his 52 to uh, 39. As you guys see, I had to bring my starters in. But, you know, I, I, I kept my bench all the way into almost two minutes remaining. So, uh, you know, my guys are definitely fresh. You know, they all at, at full, full health at this point. And uh, definitely, uh, I feel like I have an advantage. You know what I mean? His starter's been out there the entire game getting tired out. <laughs> and uh, right here, CP3 on the corner ends up banging that three right there. That puts us to 55. 11.5 seconds remaining. We are up 13. And uh, right here, we end up getting fouled again. Exact same time frame, right? Seven seconds again. We went to the free throw line with seven seconds remaining in the, in the second quarter. And we go to the free throw line again with CP3 with seven seconds remaining. That deja vu. So we're back up 15. Even though I have my starters in for the remainder of the game, we still have the exact same lead. As we had going into the third quarter, as we are going into the fourth. So, actually, no, I lied. He made that shot right there, so it's a 13 point lead. But, uh, nonetheless, man, um, we are up hefty. So, uh, same scenario. You know, we have a, a very good lead. So, I want to do the same thing. I want to keep my starters fresh. In, in case he makes a run, I know he's going to need uh, Curry. Tom he needs his starters in there. He's down by a lot. I know he's going to start chucking up threes and, 
and all that other stuff. But, you know, to my surprise, he actually, uh, you know, had him on the bench. And uh, I definitely wasn't uh, expecting that. But, um, all right there, nice turnover, man. Wide open layup. I tried to pass it, and it gets stolen. And uh, he goes in for an easy layup. But, uh, like I said, that didn't last long. He put in his starters immediately. Uh, understandable right there stop and pop from curry and it's just wet yo that guy's jump shot is too real uh i got all my uh, still my bench players in at this point man uh I, I still feel like i got a good enough lead even though uh curry makes another jump shot is now a 10 point lead but uh again uh that's still a, a lot of points so uh, my starters are still on the bench just going ahead and uh, resting up so he took a three which he ended up missing wide open another three and uh, he ends up making it. So now it's like, okay, two minutes remaining. Now put the starters in um, in a little bit. You know, we definitely got to put these guys in. That's exactly what we do. So uh, fast forward a little bit, man. We're up seven with less than a minute remaining uh, right here, man. We're just trying to kill as much time as possible. You know, um, inside pass right there and uh, ends up getting a go 10. And uh, we are up nine less than a minute. So unless there's a major, major meltdown, we should be okay. Misses a three. We grab the rebound. It's a foul. And um, actually, no, it's out of bounds. But um, he ends up quitting uh, at this point. I believe there's a timeout, and he just ends up quitting. And uh, we end up winning the game. So, Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what happens. I, he definitely ends up quitting somewhere around here. Uh, I think there's like a foul or something like that. Right here, I'm just wasting time. Game is over at this point. There's nothing he can do. So we end up winning the game. Um, he uh, made it close. Oh, okay. Never mind. We we got another assist. We drained a three. Then he quit. <laughs> so that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys would like uh, some more 2K online ranked match. Uh, haven't done this in a while, and it felt good to get my first game in, and it was a victory. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, Definitely felt good with the performance. I wish I could have sh uh, shown the stats, but like I said, he just ended up quitting. And uh, CP3 had to have about 15 assists or something like that, and he had a good game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.